All right, everybody, as you can see, we are on deck five of Symphony of the Seas, and this is your Royal Promenade, uh, the Royal Theater in the front, which is where we're at. You see the red dot, and you also have the third level of the main dining. So there is a lot going on here. Now, unfortunately, we can't get into the theater. Um, they are doing rehearsals in there, and we want to give them their privacy. Me being an entertainer, the last thing I want is the public watch, uh, watching me rehearse. Okay. Um, also, there is a running track out here on this deck. We will show that to you last. We want to make sure we cover the inside spaces first. Uh, as, uh, I'm not sure if you have the camera showing it, but there is public restrooms here. Um, I would say for the few days that we've been on the ship already, for the amount of people that are on this ship, there is not enough public restrooms. That's just my observation. Okay. So as you leave the forward elevator banks, there's a nice sort of staircase here that goes down to four, um, but it also opens up into this area. There is an ATM right here on the ship, right by those forward elevator banks, okay? This little area right here that we're looking at, this is called on air. We'll, right, on air. We'll go in from this side since I came up here. It's a little club in here, All right? So, I haven't looked at the itinerary to see what they do in here. I do apologize, but uh, it looks like it's set up that it could be for a comedian or different things as well. So um, yeah, it's kind of nice look. So we're gonna go out this door here so we stay on track. So you have, uh, I believe this is a Starbucks, a little coffee place right here. Again, we'll, we'll stay to the right, we'll stay focused. I know you all wanna see over there, but we'll we'll walk back that way. So, here's Solera. So, if you for, forgot a fragrance or just need a new fragrance, you can get it in there. They have all these little vignettes out here as well. Um, at nighttime, it's uh, incredibly active here um, at nighttime. And honestly, pretty loud. By the way, here's your port merchants. So, if you want to get... Uh, alcohol or cigarettes or stuff like that, that is done right here. And they're usually running great sales on all of that stuff. I will make a note, by the way, if you look up, see all those windows? Those are cabins. So um, if you're going to pick one of those cabins, um, it's going to be noisy until about midnight. Okay? There's your copper and kettle. An English tavern, English bar. And they do have uh, a little soul act that plays in here. All right, nice area, Lisa, my continuity advisor. Okay, um, when they did the balloon drop the other night that I showed you, this is where the band was playing. They were fantastic. Okay, beneath there, here's your merch shop. So all things uh, Royal Caribbean are in there. All your wares for the Symphony of the Seas. You can get right here. As we keep on going, there's a crushed beetle. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love that. It almost looks like they bought it brand new and crushed it. I don't know. Or, or they just made it. Maybe it's not a real one. I don't know, but it sure looks like a real one. Okay. Anyway, so there's your cafe promenade. So you want to come in here, get some coffees and some different things. You can do it in there. Right next to that guest services. So all your issues here on the ship, you're going to come and see these fine people. We're going to need to see them after because my app has been misbehaving. And the Rising Tide, one of the more famous installations here. Um, this is uh, a bar that goes up and down all day, all night. Obviously not doing it now because we're in port, but um, unlike uh, Celebrity, um, the Edge class on the Magic Carpet, this one, you can ride when it goes up and down. On the magic carpet, you cannot. All right. So there we go. Keeping on on the right. See, so you've got regalia watches. So if you're into the beautiful watches, they've got them for you here. Okay. And then we're just going to keep on going. And we're going to come see these people in a little bit for my app. 
And we're now to the back. All right, we'll point out the map so you can see. So here we are right here, the red dot, okay? Um, what's nice is throughout the ship they have these. So let's say, and look, it's, it's telling you right where you are. But let's say you want to see something else. If you go to the home, right, you can do a stateroom locator, type in the cabin number. We'll type in ours, 11694. And it gives you a little information about the cabin. And it's supposed to, there it is. See the arrow moving? That's actually where our cabin's located. So this is kind of a neat little information thing. You can see enter entertainment. So if you're, you know, left your phone, you don't want to have your phone, these boards are everywhere for you to use. Okay. So then here is the third deck of the restaurant. And we are on deck five. Uh, so the restaurant uh, starts on deck three. And then you have entrance on deck four. And, of course, here I'm on deck five. Uh, I've not actually been up here on the deck five entrance yet. And you can see the final look uh, with that beautiful chandelier. Obviously, there's some extra decorations now because of it is the holiday season. Christmas is approaching fast. Uh, where did the year go? It's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. So now this level is not as wide as deck three and deck four because the lifeboats are here. So if you're assigned to deck five and expecting to see something out the portholes, that ain't happening. You don't think you're going to see? Well, lifeboats. And hopefully you don't have to see them any closer than that. Not fun. The guys, they're all back there working. I won't leave them alone. You know, it's kind of neat. This is kind of like a little island, right? The only way to get it is through the bridge, right? Because it's open here and it's open over here. So this is kind of a, a neat island dining kind of feel, I guess, because you're sort of on an island. I don't know. <laughs> the, other, the other side looks exactly the same. Uh, so we won't uh, carry you all the way over there, but we'll just sort of show you from a distance. So there you go. Okay, let's now continue to the right and show you the other side of the Royal Promenade, which is just one of the seven neighborhoods on this ship. Um, if you've never been on it, it, it it's, it's certainly something you want to do. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Speaking of amazing, this ship is so big. Um, I, I, I've never felt it moving, um, or very, very little, by the way, um, here's a, an area for shore excursions. Um, they say shore excursions and got their little tablets out. So if you want to come down here, um, and then across from that is a world famous bionic bar. If you've never heard of this, I'd be, be shocked if you haven't, but, uh, you order your drink and, uh, the robot makes it for you. <laughs> um, this is quite an attraction, right? So all the bottles are up top, right? It fetches a, a cup from back there and then gets whatever liquors you need for whatever drink you ordered. Yeah, there's, there's quite, uh, quite a line of people here. So, um, we'll try to capture that for you one night. So this is actually, I think, where we came in the ship here. We have another shop, the collection, purses and such, some Swordsgate crystals in the back, right? Nice area. Okay. Here's, you want to book your next cruise? You come see these people in here and they will take care of you. Um, when you rebook while you're on a cruise, if you didn't know, they give you all kinds of extra perks. Uh, usually onboard credits, sometimes other things. And if you've booked through a travel agent, um, it will filter over to them. So, um, however, sometimes it's just easier to contact your travel agent first. But, uh, you go Sorrento's. This is where you're going to get your pizza. This is the only time there's not been a line. And why is there no line? 
because there's no pizza. <laughs> it's closed right now. There's also some soda machines here. If you've got the, the drink package, you can get some sodas here. Uh, on some of the other ships we've been on, there's been like a, like an iced tea or some other stuff down here. They don't have that on this ship. Um, we have honestly found it not having the drink package on this ship. It's been challenging for beverages, um, especially after a dining time. Um, they close the one at the, it just, we have found it hard to get beverages at night. So just bringing it to you. So there's some more jewelry. Yeah. Um, what, what she found was, um, up at the buffet, right? Any of the seven so up at the buffet, the, the ice machine still works. We're doing good. How are you today? <laughs> um, the hot water was on and, and the ice machine was on, but that was literally it. So she took a cup, put the ice in there, put the hot water on top of it, and then she had a nice... It's not the normal ice machine. It's the ice machine from the soda ah. distribution. Boleros. turned off there because she can get hot. Hopefully you caught that. I'll repeat that in a minute. Here's Boleros. Nice sort of Cuban inspired club. A band that plays in here. Nice bar. So what Lisa was saying is if you go up to the buffet at night, the drink stations are going to be closed. Okay. However, the ice at the soda machines still works. So you can get ice at the soda machine, then go over to the coffee, the coffee tea area and put hot water on top of the ice and you will then, of course, then have cold water. That is the only way to get a beverage out of the any of the beverage stations um, up on the buffet uh, if it's nighttime, okay? You know what? We're on this side. Let's stay here. So this is all of the inside space. <sighs> Let's go to the outside space. And show you what walkers keep to the left, runners keep to the right. Okay? So let's do that. A lot of ships, the, the running slash walking area is up top. Um, they don't have it here. <laughs> they have it down here. <coughs> shuffleboard court. You want to play some shuffleboard? nice as you can see you know 360 some of the ships you can't do that this you can which is nice oh and we have exactly how far you're going they have it marked out so one lap is 2,197 feet. If you want to do one mile, you got to do 2.4 laps. So they have it spelled out for you. So for those who are tracking, it's really cool. That was interesting what the gentleman told us last night about running with the, um, the iPad um, uh, the fitness center, center um, which is up one level, but you can get here from the running track. So if running or, you know, this type of cardio is part of your workout and you're doing it up there, you can actually come down the stairs and come to the running track. Um, what Lisa was saying was we ran into a gentleman last night and when the ship is at sea, it messes up your, your wearable devices, right? Like if you were in a Fitbit or, or something like that, that's tracking your steps while well, the ship is moving. <laughs> so it's going to think you're moving <laughs> because you're on the ship. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, oh, by the way, there's some chairs here, ping pong tables, just another little area. So you're not going to get an accurate account of the steps if you're trying to keep track, if you're wearing your faces, because the ship is moving. Does, does that make sense? Um, hopefully it does. If not, ask us uh, uh, in the comments below, and I will try to describe it to you better. Look at this. I love, I don't care what deck it is, but I love the ships where somewhere you can have a straight shot from front to back. It's, 
it's amazing to think that you only have to run this track 2.4 times to do a mile. That is how big this ship is. <laughs> right, another little area, that just step out right here and look. Right. I think I'm gonna come down here like a day when we're moving to see what it's like. Craig, that area we passed back there where the ping pong tables were, there were a couple of chairs there, buddy. So if you wanted to have a really quiet, relaxing place where the sound of the ocean is whizzing by, that'd be a place to go sit and read your book. Anyway, just think about that. I told you by the end of this, we'll have found every space because we will walk this front to back, top to bottom, left to right. And so if there's someplace more quiet than the card room, we'll find. Here, here's a midship entrance. Actually, it's closer to the back of the ship, not really midship. See, we're right here. What was that, Lisa? Maybe we should stream. From out there? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it might be a good place to stream. We love to try to stream from public places, but nine times out of ten, they're just too loud. See, here's the, the restaurant now, so there's somebody out here exercising at night. While you're filling up on calories, they're out here emptying them, <laughs> or at least running them off. Not sure if you can see it yet, but there are some chairs back here too. So this might be uh, another potential place that's nice and quiet. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at this. Isn't it just beautiful. What a beautiful day, everybody. Beautiful day. Yeah, I would bet they haven't put a lot of effort into putting Wi-Fi back here. <laughs> I'm just saying. But they do have plenty of speakers. If there's... Ah. Cool. There we go. You want to get up to the Aqua Theater? You go this way. If not, keep on running. We told you we're going to go 360. We're going 360. Now, I don't know if you noticed, I normally mention it and I forgot, but on that other side, there was a bit of a ramp up. We're about to come in to the other ramp. And it got a little bit windy. I apologize. I'm trying to shield the mic a little bit, but... The wind's obviously coming from this side of the ship. Whoo! All right. Service area. Now we're coming up a little bit loud there. Coming up on another map. Here we are right here. So there's another entrance right there. Right? Well, Lisa was saying it's kind of neat. You can kind of see inside the lifeboats.
It was interesting. <laughs> uh, nothing like having to an abandoned ship on your first cruise. <laughs> kind of <laughs> puts a damper on the industry, but, you know, crap happens. Here we are. I don't know, we're 40 or, I'm 40 or 50 cruises in now. What we didn't do is time how long it takes to get all the way around. We're, we're walking, I, w I would say, at a, at a decent clip. Uh, again, a shuffleboard on this side. I mean, we're not too fast, too fast, but, you know, I'm six foot four and got long legs, so I'm just stepping it out a little bit. Here we go, round in the corner. Reduce the speed by entering tunnel. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, wait a minute. We've gone, we've gone all the way around, haven't we? We have. We're just going to keep on going on you guys. I just, I saw the sign for the fitness center and I'm like, wait a minute. We've already done this. Well, there you go, guys. There is your deck five. Hope you've enjoyed until we see you on the next ship or the next deck. Be safe.